I finished reading Collapse by Richard Stevenson. The story takes place in America in 2027. Deadly storms have wiped out most of Florida's population, and the story begins with another massive storm front heading for Texas. The story evolves around some colorful characters, a billionaire genius named Howard Beck, who has invented the most advanced artificial intelligence the world has ever seen, Richard Dupree, a prison escapee trekking across state lines to find his children and tagging along with him another escapee and white supremacist goon, and my favorite character is Max Harris, chief of police in a small Texas town working to evacuate its citizens and, uh, with his deputy and lover, Elizabeth. The story is multidimensional with each chapter devoted to one of the main characters and their plights and some side stories involving a corporate executive turned homeless in the ec economic downturn with his wife and two small children trying to survive in Obama camps, places staked out in public parks by other homeless people who fell down on their luck, and a military grunt who forces Beck out of his estate to claim it as a new military base set up to squash dissent and rebellion. Added to all of this misery is an incompetent president put into office with the funding of Howard Beck, who is focused mainly on Iran, who is building an empire on its own and on its way to invading Europe. You can say they are the Nazis of the 21st century. Iran grows stronger as America grows weaker because of its depletion of funds to carry on uh, wars in the Middle East and sacrifice goods and resources needed for its own citizens ravished by deadly storms. We soon learn that the president's incompetence leads to another disaster perpetrated by the Iranians, which causes havoc on the eastern part of the U.S. Add to this corrupt officials plotting their own takeover of government structures and the breakdown of law and order, leaving defenseless people vulnerable to attack for their own resources, including guns and ammo. In all, this book was very engaging and focuses on how people survive and stand up to challenges concerning circumstances beyond their control. This book doesn't have a, a clear-cut ending, leaving the readers to want more. It is the first in a series. The second part is due out next summer. Um, it's an excellent read. I, I highly recommend it, and uh, I look forward to the next edition.